Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Homeward Bound. Demons behind you, lava still flowing after you. You guys can trudge on and easily outpace the lava, walking through the valley until you eventually come to a, like a, what looks like a lava floodplain, perhaps? Like the canyon walls pull back and you hit this big open expanse. You can still see the tower in the distance that you're headed towards, uh, blocking out some of the light of Matrigal's stars. As you... She's still right over the tower. Right over the tower, uh, as you all march on. Um, are we in like a safe spot, or are we still in danger? Do we still have to be pressing forward to avoid being? Like once we open out of the floodplain, move a couple hundred meters forward. If we yeah. look back, what does the lava do? That's rolling towards you slowly but surely, making a progress it of like out, right? Yeah, and it, it was making like thirty feet per round, and so now that it's spreading out, its rate is probably cut into a quarter or something. Well, well, I we guess we just keep walking. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty low on HP at this point. I'm mean, on 8 HP, so... Does Zara have any spells to dish out? Zara does have spells that she can dish out. She looks at I William one, and... I think I have one more potion as well. <clears throat> well, I don't really want to have to use that, but... Uh, she looks at William, she looks at Sean and Greg, looks at Grimes, shakes her oh, head to herself. I lost um, my token, but I think I'm on like 39 HP or something. Grimes, you hear her whispering words of compassion and worship to Matrigal as she casts. Uh, she has two cure moderates, one repair injury, and two and one cure light. So she will cure moderate on William two D twice, two D seven plus two. There's nine William. She will cure light on Greg and Sean. For one, lovely. And then she'll repair injury on Greg and John. Is that right? Is Cure Moderate, I think Cure Moderate is 2d8. I think I fucked up on those rolls. Cure Moderate. Wounds, no, it's d10 plus one, okay. And yeah. repair. <laughs> Injury. What's the repair injury spell? It's also D10 plus one. Okay. Do I so get a yeah. second moderate or? Uh, no, you already got two. That's the two D10 plus two is your moderate. Two moderates. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are there any? There's no AOE healing in two E, are there? Is there? Uh, there's at least a quest spell that does AOE healing. No, there's mass cure light wounds. Isn't there? Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm. There's a quest spell, Robe of Healing. I thought there was a, a mask CLW, mass heal spell. So we need a priest of Martha to research it, but. Oh. Mass suggestion, no mass healing spells, huh? Okay. Well, here so we are. My question is, we can't safely stop here and heal because eventually you... the lava will get us. No, let's keep. I mean, you back. can't safely stop and heal anywhere, right? But well, you can. You could rest here with someone watching the lava, and then when it gets too close, just get up and keep going. That's gonna say. Or you could. Heal, so. Yeah. Maybe keep pressing on? I don't know. Let's keep going. Let's keep, keep pressing. pressing. Avoid getting fights. close. I can feel it. Prayers to Madrigal and all this glowing heels going around us. Yeah. Grimes looks at his daggers that now glow with a little bit of extra hope. As we're walking towards the tower, I point to him and say, Grimes, I sure hope there's a stairs or a ladder because otherwise you're the only one who's going to be able to climb up there. I sure hope we'll light the way. Um, while you are, while you're taking your short break, and Zara goes around patching people up a little bit here, um, what are you doing, Grimes, during that period of time? Um, I think just looking onward in awe towards the tower, towards the stars, and as I said, feeling my blades glowing with the presence of hope. Um, I guess. 
Can I should I do a gauge check to see how far the tower is? Yeah. That seems Sure. I think that yeah, is a reasonable thing for Rhymes to do. And I'm looking onward in awe. What is my gauge skill? Twenty point three. Uh, natural 18. I don't know Ooh, what modifications there are, but I feel like that should give me a pretty accurate. Yeah, this is distance. studied carefully, so plus four on top of that, which brings it to a 42. Um, and we're not trying to figure out the weight of it. We're really just trying to figure out its height, it's and, height distance. and distance. Yeah. yeah. So I would say this is a familiar thing, a tall building in the distance, and you want exacting details, which you easily pass. Um, Bye, Heppa. All right, so you can tell this thing is maybe um, 15 miles off in the distance, which means it is really fucking tall. If you can still see it poking up in the air at 15 miles away, blocking starlight. Uh, so if it's 15 miles away, this this tower extends probably 3,000 feet up into the air, 2,000 feet. It's a big thing. What the fuck? Wow. Yeah, uh, and it must be maybe uh, 700 feet across. It's a, a large pillar of earth or stone or something. I guess we'll fight our way in from the inside then. If it's that huge, it's probably got, you know, structures inside, floors and things. You can see the kobolds have managed to drag little bits of toadies with them. There's an arm here, a section of leg over there, and as the Zara heals everyone up, the kobolds stop and start munching on the, the toady flesh. The hellhound that survives comes sniffing over and begins to growl at the kobolds. Oh. And Grimes, you hear the, well, both William and Grimes, everyone hears the kobolds start to snap at the dogs. Grimes, you can hear them snapping at the, the dogs, like yelling at them. But William, you hear them snapping and yelling at the dogs in a tongue like you've never heard before. This like deep guttural sound that like, rolls forth from them as if they're like a much bigger creature. Uh, I understand what they're saying, or is... Yeah, they're, they're yelling at the dog, Get back! This is mine! I'll eat you! Hey, calm down. You're friends. And Don't talk to, to your friend like that. Do, to do I William's reply horror, in demonic tongue? Grimes oh, no. replies in a demonic tongue. Oh, right, okay. Grimes, what's going on with Nimrod? Is he turning like the, the dogs? I thinks he's gonna eat the dog. <laughs> well, he did draw a blade in that last fight. I've never seen him do that before. Drew a blade? Or well, he his... attacked, at least in claws power, are... power do... and defense. Mm -hmm. Do his claws look longer than they used to be? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nimrod yeah, is getting longer. sharp claws, angry claws, big teeth. Nimrod, have you been eating anything? Yes. I yes, I eat. To stop that. No. Never. I feel stronger, smarter. I know so much more about the world. He says, forming full sentences for the first time you've ever heard him. Some things cannot be unlearned. Oh. How's he got on crimes? What's he saying? Oh. He's, he's got a hunger, an insatiable hunger. For power, for knowledge. For knowledge. I know. I don't think they're kobolds any, anymore. Uh, is he gonna, I'll pull out the... Oh. Is he gonna grow? Like the dogs, do you Look think? Look at his claws. He already is. I pull hmm. out a... Pull out the gem of true scene. Look. Ye Nimrod is barely recognizable as a kobold through this thing. He looks much more like one of these demon creatures with, like, bones sort of sticking out of him, but they're not that black iridescent bone. With Nimrod, it just looks like through the gem, just like his insides are sort of starting to come and out, part, be part of his outside. And maybe the very ends of them have this charred, burned look to them. Uh, he has little stringy bits of flesh hanging off of him in all different places. His hair is sort of 
It's like the hair is beginning to fade and disappear, but little bits of stringy flesh are replacing it, but not quite as dense as the hair, you know? I should have muzzled them long ago. I look around over the rest of the party. No pups. The null pups are looking not quite as bad as the kobolds, but they are definitely quite demonic at this point. Um, they, they've got long fangs. They've got these like flat plates that come across their head. Their head sort of like is squishing back and becoming more like elongated. They're already sort of wolf-like, but now it's getting like squished and long, um, like some sort of long-nosed hound. Uh, their I fear fur it's too is late. Vanishing. We, should have, we should have muzzled the, the kobolds, but Grimes tightens up the uh, wrap he has around his mouth and face to keep anything from getting in. Mm -hmm. And I do a quick check of myself to make sure I don't have any tendrils. You seem fine. Do I? Do you attempt to hide looking through the gem from me? No, I'm. Yeah, I'm looking at. I'm looking through the gem at a. Uh, Why are you? And that's what I, and I'm saying. Yeah, we sh we should have muzzled them long ago. What do you mean, Grumps? What's that gem got to do with it? Uh, I put the gem away or whatever. They're they're becoming demonic. I mean, can't you see? Look at his. Look at their fangs. Are we okay? Yeah, we're just fine. I nod. Good. Just don't eat anything. Do you, uh, maybe it'd be smart if you wrapped your mouth as well. Eliminate the temptation. Or I don't know, it's fine. I can, I can, my will is strong. Look, the dogs. Grimes, uh, maybe my face would, be, Grimes' face would betray it, but he's, he's pretty much wrapped as all, any, any orifice that could take in any of these demonic gnats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, William is not as changed as the others. Zara and you are the least changed. William has definitely no worse than the time bit. on the on the boat, though. He hasn't. It hasn't progressed. A little I mean, bit. He had, he had like some sharp fangs. And... He's got some pointed teeth, some like weird things hanging on the inside of his mouth. And you look at his face now, and he's got these like weird splotches on it, kind of like really bad freckles. It's not you know, demonic. Any, it's just, there are some slight patterning changes any happening. enormous stone legs. <clears throat> that, yes, that, that too. All right, well, I guess we, you know, we press on. I'm keeping an eye on Nimrod. I'm not looking to get stopped in the park and eaten by Nimrod. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Grimes, how about your, your feelings for William? How are they coming along? Um, coming along like you I, you consumed that love potion yeah I, I mean i don't think anything's progressed william's okay. still the greatest hero that the universe has ever seen and our one hope and salvation in these dark times get him out of here that is true get him out of here and save the world save the cheerleader save the world Bumpkin Village or whatever's not going to manage itself. I need to get back. Bumpkin Village? Yeah, like the tiny little village they gave me before we came here. Oh. Someone needs to manage it. I need to get back. The taxes need collecting. Bumpkin, but you mean, uh, you mean Fortune. No, fortune. not Fortune. Like the one little village that they gave oh. me outside Solwick. Oh, okay. But you also own Fortune now. I do own Fortune, yes. You are the lawful owner of that. Well, I don't know. I've not been... Well, there's not been the ceremony to give me the title yet. But sure. I, you know, sure. 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 According to Drekus, it's been promised to you. Yeah, right. it's not been captured yet. So like, here's your That's title. Your... You're gonna go claim it yourself. They're gonna win the war and they'll have it by the time you get back. Yeah, no problem. It's probably waiting for me right now. Mm -hmm. I think anyway, we're... okay. Yeah. You push across the floodplains. Um, until the tower is beginning to loom in front of you. If it was 20 miles away and you guys are taking your time to walk slowly, uh, let's say you're walking at like quarter speed or whatever. So one mile per hour, it'll take you about 20 hours to get close to it. So you all can get about 20 HP. Oh, right. Um, and then we will come back in when you guys are within half a mile of it. The floodplain has given, has changed. And all about you are these 
small towers. When I say small towers, I mean they're somewhere between like three feet and 15 feet high. Sometimes, uh, you know, maybe five feet wide, sometimes 15 feet wide. Uh, and they're these like bulbous, like vents that stick out and they, they shrink and expand and the ends of them are open with like, uh, as like a tunnel down to the lava below, but maybe like it's been pushed up by the pressure and these lava vents are scattering everything, maybe, or scattered everywhere. At most there's maybe 30 feet between them, but usually it's only five or 10 feet between lava vents. Uh, and it's just a field of them as far as the eye can see all the way up to the tower. Are they spewing gas or anything? There are noxious fumes coming from them, and a few of them are dripping lava out, but none of them are are squirting it. Okay, I will cover my face as Grimes suggested at this point. I'll hand you one of the scrag cloaks. Thanks. All right. right, Everyone, keep your distance. Yeah, follow me. I'll I'll keep your distance. Follow Grimes. He'll lead a path. William, what is your HP? Um, after you, 37, after you healed, and Grimes, oh, is, are you at full? 20? 20? Uh, yeah, I'll be at full. Okay. Um, um, Zara is, does, has not stopped to regain spells, so she's still missing those. And you guys come within maybe a quarter mile of the tower, and you can see at the base of it, there is a massive, like, a uh, moat of lava that extends a couple hundred feet and a huge bridge, maybe 20 feet wide at its widest point that arcs over the lava pit um, into it partway through and like another bridge comes off of it and arcs the rest of the way. So like two 50 foot spans of bridges uh, or 200 foot spans of bridges connected together to form one massive bridge that crosses the lava pit hits up against this tower, which you can see is not really a tower tower with windows and doors, but just this column of stone that rises up into the air. Attached to it is a bridge that stretches out over over the darkness. Yeah, you can't really see what's off that direction. Does the bridge come from the top of the tower or the bottom? It reaches the ground to the bottom of the tower. And on the other side of the bridge, there is a staircase that sort of like goes up into the tower, like cutting straight into it. Uh, Grimes, uh, so, sorry, hang on, Neil. So there's one, there's two bridges leading to the tower from our side. Mm, let me doodle because I, I yeah. think I'm being unclear here. I'm it's sorry. Like a step bridge. Oh, there's right. two bridges with the tower in the middle on the lava moat. No, no. no. The, that was flavor. Like the, the bridge is, it's like a bridge to the lava stacked on another bridge to the tower. Yeah. So if we've got like the lava around the tower over here. We then have a bridge that goes like, boop, boop, yeah. like that. What's it Where did you say there was like a, a bit of ground or something? And the then there's a, a staircase that okay. enters into the, the tower right here. Oh, I see. OK, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so. Can we see this, uh, the <clears throat> magical? Can we see the constellation? Or is it yes. blocked entirely at this point? Uh, no, she is still behind it. One star twinkling on the left side, a couple stars on the right side. Still right there behind the tower, letting you know. But at the top of the tower, there's another bridge. At the top of the tower, there is another bridge that extends like off in this bridge. direction. Yeah. Are there any demons around? Uh, you're still a quarter mile from it. You'd have to get closer. Do we have the spyglass or is that, is that destroyed? That's gone. That's gone. Unless you have it written down. No, I haven't got it. Um, looking back across the lava plain, is there a flow of lava? Pursuing uh, us, or no. can we stop and rest here? You feel like you could stop and rest here. You don't see any lava coming this way. Uh, I need seventeen. I need uh, twelve hours. Yeah. Zara, we should prepare ourselves. That that stairway leads to hope. She reach out, commune with your with your with our goddess. Uh, she will gather her puppies around her, who are now adolescent pups almost, um, and talk to them. You can hear her speaking Nolish to them, saying, you know, children, we must not, you see those lights? That is Matrigal, our guiding hope. She will take us away from this hell hole and bring us back to where we belong. Do you remember home? Do you remember the snow? 
do you remember the winds? And the puppies just kind of stare at her with these hungry eyes, their bodies like heaving with each breath, watching her. Um, and you can hear a little bit of desperation in her voice as she tries to get them to talk to her. She's raised pups before and she keeps trying to talk to them and despite their larger size, they haven't really spoken to her. And they, they seem to regard her more like a, uh, you know, like the alpha female that is their competition rather than the, the uh, mother figure that she is to them. Um, and after trying to chat with them for a little while, she starts, you know, holding them and just rocking them back and forth in prayers to her goddess uh, as she regains her spells. You, ha uh, How long did you need to rest, William? 12 hours. 12 hours? Okay. So I'm Grimes. During camp. this rest, what do you do? Uh, I think I'll patrol the immediate area, maybe wandering out a couple hundred feet, scouting it out, making sure there's no demons lurking around, making sure there's no hidey holes. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, will you scoot a couple hundred feet forward, and you can see there is a bit of a path um, that opens up through these lava vents. It's not super wide, but at a certain point, there's like this 30 foot section where the vents have been either destroyed or never grew up to begin with. Hmm. Um, and does down it lead this, all the way to the bridges? It does. And if you, well, I won't say anything else, never mind. It might draw me closer. Does it? Towards it, yeah, to get a better look. I yeah. think I, I won't go more than 500 yards from the group, but. Perfect. I'll wander forward, whatever that is, a quarter mile. Yeah. Um, I'm going to just bring you to a page. You're not actually going to be in these positions, but it'll give you an idea of what you're looking at ahead of you. Uh, these are the lava vents that stick up all over the place. And before you is the Great Bridge guarded by demons. You can see one of those floating orbs with eyes coming off of it, as well as a half dozen warriors, a half dozen thungs, two hydras, and a, a commander. A landsman. No, so, uh, commander. It's a different class. Have we seen them before? Those, like, the you've seen guys. them. They're these tall purple guys. I don't think you've fought them. No. And but you've seen them. Looks like there's a siege breaker on the, uh, on the bridge. Yeah. Whatever we call those. And, uh, a the dead gate breaker. Lava. And a dead gate breaker. Are they armored? Can I tell? Yes. These frontline warriors are armored with, uh, with, with, with the armor and with the shields. So these are the AC-36 variety that you first fought back in Caldonia. I'll fight six of them plus the Beholder. Yeah, I'll return back to the party. What are we, so what are these guys out front? Those are the thongs, the, okay. the dogs. Yeah. Do they have a new token? Or maybe it's just where the There's a new the token. Place. I found a better token for them. Okay. Yeah, I'll return to the party. What do you find, Grubs? Yeah, I'll be like, stand, I can see some demons standing guard at the bridge. Anything Six we fully armed. It's going to be tight. Six fully armored warriors Oof. led by uh, one of those eye floating eyes. I look down on my feet. A different kind of demon. I don't know that we've fought before. I don't know if we can fight one of those floating eye things with those armored demons at the same time. No, perhaps. I think me perhaps we can the lure boat. them away, pick them off from afar. If you could lure them away, hide, and we can make it across the bridge. They could fight the, uh, <clears throat> fight anything that's on the bridge, and you could let loot back around. But it's... Maybe it'd be safer to circle around the moat and see if there's another way across. I doubt it. I'll go ahead and do that. Keep resting. Thanks. Um, all right. Grimes will don another scrag cloak. Mm-hmm. Drawing probably probably just the phase dagger in my offhand so that I'm 
slightly out of phase, more difficult to spot. And I'm gonna do like a circle around of the lava lava moat to see if there's any other bridges, any way around, see how the tower meets the shore. Wow. Okay, uh, I was just looking at some things. So you, you don the scrag cloak and you want to get up to the lava edge, but not where the monsters are. Uh, I don't even want to be close to them. I would be like 500 more feet away right. from the, I don't know how far our parties can from here. Uh, uh, they're a quarter mile, goals. so. Oh, that's it. Okay, yeah. so I got pretty close. I did get pretty close. Yeah. Um, hundreds of feet from the demons. Sure. Don't want to risk being spotted, but I want to, so my goal is to see if there's any other way around the lava or what the tower, how the tower meets the shore. Sure, so you can scamper uh, with your scrag cloak from uh, lava vent to lava vent until you end up at the edge of the lava to get a, a good view. And the first thing you notice is that in the lava pit is the skeleton of some massive winged creature. Um, some very dragon-looking thingy is sort of just floating in the lava. Interesting. Is there any way to tell how fresh it is? I guess not. Huh? Mm -mm. All flesh has been burned away, but somehow the skeleton still remains. Uh, other than that, what you see is the lava pit, uh, the, the lava moat remains about 200 feet uh, wide all the way around the tower, at least as far as you can see. And there appear to be no other bridges crossing this. How it does looks... it meet the shore? The bridge? The lava moat. Isn't this tower right on the shoreline? Uh, it's a little bit off of it. So the tower is maybe a quarter mile in from the shore, from the ocean side. Okay, and the lava moat goes full 360? Full 360, yeah. Only and then there's bridge. like a, a section between the shore and the moat. How high walkable. above ground low? Uh, yeah. This is maybe a, a 10 foot cliff. Uh, no, I think this is maybe like a 20 or 30 foot cliff here. I'm thinking the bridge that connects the two towers. Is that hundreds of feet up? Oh. Uh, at high. most, at its highest point, it's probably 50 feet off the ground. No, the bridge that the connects lava. the two towers. Oh, that one. That one is, you know, 2,000 feet up. And then maybe a couple miles long. I think this is it. Neil went through all the effort to make this battle map. There's no avoiding it. We can't possibly oh. win this fight. We can go Don't. grind some experience somewhere else. Wander I mean, around for random encounters. I think we should really think about this, because yeah, we, can't, we, can't, we can't fight six of those on their own, never mind. I'll return to just... the party. Mm -hmm. Say the, the moat circles the entire tower. There's only one bridge out, one bridge in and out. Kind of uh, was this group of guards the only them. demons that I saw? Were there any patrols or any demons crawling up around the tower? No. No. Give me a perception check. There might be something else you see. Maybe. You, through one of those last stars on the left side of the tower, you can occasionally see something on the, the bridge way up in the sky moving. It looks like the top of the tower, or at least the bridge, has creatures upon it. But that's uh, 2,000 feet away. That's tomorrow's so, problem. Crimes. Maybe uh, maybe Zara has some magic that could get us across the bridge. Yeah. When she's done praying, it's... I'll talk to Zara. Sure. Uh, uh, you did can... she hear any of my description of the... I guess mm. I'm going to switch to Nolish. She's in deep, fervent prayer, and you're speaking common. And she has been picking up a little bit of common along the way. Um... Not enough to really carry a full conversation, but these days she can say to William, like, you need healing? Ah, or, nice. you know, uh, I can give, like, brief go this way. Battle. Go this Actually, way. Get pups. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Very ugly. She probably understands more than she can say. Probably. All right, so maybe I can give her commands. Um, so I think our options are make a lava-proof boat. I'm not sure if that's even a possibility. <laughs> Or I think we want to kite them from afar. Maybe we can. Few away. I can shoot them. She not have etherealness, though. Could she not just like etherealness as well walk over the oh. bridge? Only three. What if we carry the pups? Uh, no, I, I can. 
I can bring me and three. Me and three. Could you not, if we did it over the course of multiple days, could you not go back and forth with us? Like take two across, they wait there, hide somewhere. Yeah. Did she cast it again on the next people? This is doable. Across. If there's safety on the other side, if there's safety in the tower, then we could do it like that. We could take our time over it, take a few days. She, she needs to come with us, right? Or can she ethereal miss us all and then we can go on? She could ethereal miss like three of us, three, including herself. Like, or just three people, three people go across, then she rests, sends another three people across, and she rests, sends another people, three people across. And as long as William and Grimes go first, any fighting that has to be done, we could probably just basically fight at full strength on the other side anyway. Um, and then we can just secure a, a landing ground for the rest. You could send us into the ethereal plane and we could cross the bridge. That's what I'm saying, yeah. I don't think Zara is going to want to leave the uh, up to the yeah, so she, she does it. She sends the kobolds. She sends the two of us plus. But what if the, what if some of the demons can sense us in the ethereal plane? What if the, beho the beholder's eyes probably pass through to the ethereal plane? This is all pretty metagamey. I don't think our characters really have the wherewithal to be having these sorts of conversations. Well, I've seen Zara. The reason I bring it up is because I saw Zara go invisible a few times when she was near certain death. Mm -hmm. She did it when she was about to get killed by the butthole. Yeah. You guys did spend two years in a tent with Yaromir. Yeah. Three years in a tent with Yaromir, listening to him ramble on about this and that and examining the weird runes on his body. You probably know something about magic. Enough to have maybe a, a light conversation on the topic. I look, I think if we're gonna go and fight, we might as well try and approach Ethereal, and if they don't notice us, we could make it across. Even if we only get to the entrance of the bridge, that still gives us an advantage where we can just fight one armored guy at a time. And then there is the siege breaker blocking the bridge, but I guess yeah, we're I ethereal and we slip past them. Yeah. What about Zara? Would you have any way to smash the bridge once we've got across? Smash? Bridge? Yeah. She scours her mind. Soft on earth and stone. I had a plus five hammer. I wonder if I could just smash it. So it was I could make us quiet. It's not super useful. No, I think etherealness is the way to get across. If, that, if, if it's going to be a I bet the solution. I bet the beholder can see the ethereal. Um, I have to actively do it, though. I don't know that our characters are having this much strategy. But no, so, I know. I, I, yeah, I, I actually find it hard to imagine that they wouldn't just try it. Like you're right that the whole line see through it, but at this point, do you not think that there's no way to win that fight? Uh, not in a. I think in a straight up fight, we couldn't do it. But I think yeah. we can try and lure them out one at a time. Like I can shoot them from 500 feet or something like that. Okay, so let's. So if you and, try and kite them, worst case scenario is they all come at once, right? In which then case, then we can try like circling around them or rushing for the bridge. Uh, with the, me and the rest of them circle around in that case, and I'll go and kill the shield breaker, and then you cool. try and you need to try and hide and come back. So like stage the party off to the side. Yeah. Like so, the map's too small for it to even. But like off to the side somewhere. You'd be in a lot And then of I'd danger. be like straight ahead. I think I can outrun them or even hide from them. But then how do you get past? And then have you guys, if only a couple come, you can flank them. If they all come, you can rush for the bridge. Yeah. Yeah, if they send a small force, then we can definitely pick them off one by one. Or small group by small group. And if they all come, yeah, we go to, the, we cross the bridge and hope that it's safe on the other side. Um, I'll kill the shield breaker. I wouldn't count on that. Yeah. But then, how do you get across? 
I don't think that's gonna. I think we're gonna try and lure them, and shit's gonna hit the fan, and we'll just deal with what, who, whatever comes at us. I don't know about that plan. Which one should I, I try and kite? Should I try and go for the uh, beholder or for the the purple leader? Maybe the purple leader. Maybe he. Uh... I wonder if we could capture him and command him to let us through. You know, Grimes. These demons. They seem obsessed with magical, right? What if? What if we were to speak to them? Last case, Hasn't last gone time. well in the past. But if Zara were to speak with them? If we claim to have a cleric from the gods here, you never know, they might look favorably upon that. It's a risky strategy, though. Maybe one more back into a corner. Mm, you want to ally with the demons? Not ally, to get but them to follow them. us? Yeah, maybe we, we could suggest to them that we are the reason that Madrigal is here, and if they were to kill us, then she would inevitably leave. So far, all of our attempts to communicate with the demons have failed. Agreed. I think if we approach and attempt to communicate, they'll just attack. Yeah, the lesser one's probably not smart enough to see what we're trying to say, but the commander maybe. Anyways, so when Grimes was waiting for Zara to come out of her prayer, but I think we kind of like skipped and jumped around, so it's fine. But I did want to ask her what she, you know, if, if she had any ideas. Or what would do you? Can your goddess hear you? Yes, I can speak with her. What did What did you feel? Is she near? She is there, right before us. She's very close. Hmm. Do you have any any ideas? Do we have a do we have a prayer? Any hope of defeating these demons? I guess she was out of it, so I wanted to tell her what we saw. You know, guarding the bridge before us, guarding the stairway to hope, are many demons. Three fully armored warriors. One of those eye beasts. Mm. Other demons we haven't fought before. Some kind of commander. She says to herself, I I cannot move us all. I could move me, three more, and we could go around. Around? There's only one bridge. The, uh, the we go through. Circles. We go through different plane. We move through the ethereal plane. But I cannot take us all. And I take time in between castings. Uh, first party across, may have to spend a long time there. May not be safe. So why don't we cast the etherealness? One person, Grimes, you're the most sneaky. You go across the bridge, you see what see what shit's like on the other side. Like if it's safe on the other side, maybe we can't wait so in then, out. So just Sara and I? Or just you, maybe. Or does she have to be with you? She doesn't have to be with. She has to take me there, and then she can leave me. Yes. Oh, she she has to be with you. Okay, so yeah, the two of you would go. Oh, but think... then she can't come back. Yeah, then she can go like... back. I don't like this. I guess I could all I could check it out and come back. I can make them speak the truth. She chuckles to herself. The truth is always good. Not in this plane of lies. Everything's backward down here upside down. Look, if the etherealness doesn't work, then we just slip into the Titan plan. They notice you, you make a run for it, and I'll attack them if it's a small of group. Otherwise, maybe you get to the other side. You find it safe. Zara can leave you there and come back for the rest of us. What if they can see us? Then they attack you they... and you, you run and kite them. Thing's got a lot of eyes. Surely one of them can see into, into other planes. Those things with the armor and the sword, I can I can barely hit them. 
the chance of the rest of you. I suggest you pick them off one at a time. But if you if you think we should scout, if I if you think if you ask me to scout ahead, yeah, I guess I'll do that. So I asked if Zara you, uh, if she's come across anything that can see through our theory on this other people. Okay, she Christ, just got Jesus. this power like last week. Hmm. What do you think, Zara? Can can you take me take me with you out of phase? I can put you can there. Scout ahead. Yes. You will not be able to see your friends, any of us. You will not be able to hear us or speak with us. Well, me, I will be there with you. But the others will be non-existent. Only things made of solid earth, stone, metal will exist for you. Everything else will be nothing. But if, if Zara, if they go across and then Zara comes back for the rest of us, leaving Grimes there, will Grimes oh. just flip back to the PMP or will he... No, he she can turn you both ethereal and then she can just sit there and Grimes can walk away. Yeah. And then Grimes will go back safely at the end of the spell. Can, uh... I don't know yeah, what you mean about going anywhere safely, but he can... I mean that at the end of the spell, he'll go back to the prime material plane, regardless of Zara being present or not. Correct, yes. Yeah. You know, I think these ethereal blades extend beyond the plane. Yes, you'd be super blades. ethereal. Could I go ethereal and then affect, and then use them to attack creatures on this you plane? You wouldn't be able to know where those creatures are is the problem. I, you just said I can see their metal. I can see the demon's armor. Ooh tear them to shreds while ethereal. I feel you... like uh, that's the kind of plan that Neil would get really pissed off about and find some way to... You know, if you and... can locate them, your spirit blade, does it extend into the spiritual plane or the ethereal plane? You made it. I think it oh, extends... I know, but what notes did I give you on it? I have no notes. We've figured it out by doing. You might have yeah. given Malachi some notes. But... Okay. You could see the ghosts when he was holding it. I think it extends into the ethereal plane. If it's into the ethereal plane, that won't strike at creatures in the, in the material. But if it extends okay. into the spiritual plane, then you could fuck them up. And well, I do called believe it's spirit called blade. a spirit blade. I think it might extend into the spiritual plane. Okay, so what, we ethereal this grimes these solos? I'll give it a try. I mean, see, that's a, I'm half expecting the beholder to just turn and notice me. Yeah, and then you run, and then we're, we're, we're doing the, the kiting plan, which is the, the second plan, right? There is no straight up battle with this. Like, it has to be another way. We have to either distract them or sneak past them or blow them all with a wave of force into the lava. You know, like, I don't. Yeah. Well, I, think uh, else. I can scout ahead. I don't like this, but if it's what you think is best, I'll do it. Stay stealthy anyway, Grimes. Yeah. Just Always be stealthy. Find out if you can get to the other side of the bridge to see if the tower is safe. If not, come back. Because if it's not safe, this isn't going to work. Full stop. It only works is it, if the rest of us can wait on the other side for the others to come. Yeah. Okay. It's spiritual or ethereal creatures. Yes. So your spirit blade will be able to affect creatures on the, as long as they're still connected to the spiritual plane. Any creature with a soul will could still be affected by it. Ethereal assassin. Let's do mm -hmm. it. All right, Sarah. Can you uh, send me uh, out of phase, and I'll uh, I'll scout ahead. Grimes, remember the floating orb with its main eye cancelled all of our magic make sure it doesn't cast its gaze on you oh god well there's if it's looking this direction there's no way you're not going like, to be able to it's like 25 foot range though I think so we'll see can sneak around the edges Zara puts a hand on your shoulder before casting the spell and says <clears throat> I do not see you Grimes what? then good luck 
and she will cast etherealness. You will both fade from the existence and enter a misty realm where there is either nothing or solid blackness forming the edges of your universe. These lava vents are solid um, and everything else is gone. The ground is solid, right? Ground is solid. Solid-ish. Mm-hmm. Grimes, I think, closes his eyes and breathes deep, feels the sensations around him. I think with all the phasing he's been doing for so long, in some ways this is kind of familiar. It's like going all the way mm-hmm. after like just dipping my toes in this other plane. Mm-hmm. So I sort of take it all in, feel it. Um, I want to draw the two spirit blades and see what happens from there. Do I go even deeper? That is a fascinating question. Does it break everything? Do I tear apart the fabric of space and time? Uh, no, I think that yeah. you are fully ethereal. They can't bring you any more into the ethereal plane. You're okay. just here. But I oh. can see them. Oh, they, they look completely solid in your vision. Interesting. Just like a regular sword? Regular sword. Right. But it's wielded just as if it were a dagger. Super easy to use. I guess if they don't phase me anymore, I don't necessarily need them drawn. Or keep them sheathed and... Uh... We should have asked Zara how long this lasts. Just so you've got an idea. Well, you can still speak to Zara. Um, yeah, yeah. How long, yeah. How, She's how, here how with long do I have? It's not long. It's like 20 minutes. You have an hour. Okay. Grimes, I want to see I you back here within an hour. One, one turn per sure? level. Is it... Uh, what am I oh no, that sure? is ethereal barrier. That is the wrong spell. Hold on. I think it's I think it's fifteen minutes. I think it's one turn plus one round per level. It is yes, fifteen minutes. Go quick, Grimes. All right, so I sprint. All right. If you could walk through. How the far lava. away is the part? The party was a quarter mile, so. Quarter mile. Could you walk through the lava? Oh, maybe. One thousand three hundred and twenty feet. Okay. Um, the lava is down a, a cliff. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, 1,320 feet away, and you have 15 Ooh. minutes. You can easily close that distance with more than enough time to spare. You can do a quarter mile and if you run in, like, two minutes. Okay. I run full out. Okay. Do I get tired here? I assume I still, like, get winded, right? And I can't sprint full out all the time? Yeah, you cannot sprint eternally. You're okay. no Balrog. Um, okay. When you get about a thousand feet away, that's basically where the party is. Uh, yeah, the party is one thousand four hundred yeah. feet or something. Mm-hmm. Right. It's been closer. Than I've been closer than that. Uh, How yes, you were. Yes, you have been. Well, yeah, I think you've been somewhat closer. Um. Well, let's see. Maybe I shouldn't say when you get a thousand feet away. Let's first ask how you are approaching these creatures. Because the first time you approached, you were creeping carefully, going from vent to vent, checking your, you know, I'm gonna you were... run until I'm like a 300 feet away maybe, and then go stealth mode. And I want to try and creep up from like, okay. from this side. Okay, so you run through the lava vents on the side until you're about 300 lava, feet away. Is the lava, feel the heat here? No, you feel no temperature at all. In that case, maybe I'll approach from like way from like a hundred feet off screen to the right and see if okay. I can just cross the lava. You can approach the edge uh, well off screen. Mm-hmm. There is this you can up. the cliff comes down. You can see depth only by the the fogginess. Um, you know, the the more obscured something is, the further it is away from you. Otherwise, it's just black and clear. Is and the lava below solid? There is no lava below. It is solid black earth. The, the borders of your realities uh, hit the bottom. Sure, but below at the edge of the lo- at the edge of the moat. Yeah, there's no lava down there. It's just solid ground. How far below? 20 feet? 30, 30, 40 feet, 45 feet. It's hard to tell. It's not a huge distance. This is the better option. I I climb down. Okay. Give me, I want you to give me like a climb check at disadvantage because your vision is heavily obscured. Like there's not the 
you don't have the same shades of gray to like figure out what is protruding and what isn't, so okay. disadvantage for the awkwardness of the climb. Not quite doing it blind, but double twelves. So perfect. Plus 30. what is that, like thirty on top of that? Or uh yeah. twenty six is my climb skill. Okay, so thirty eight. Yeah. You scamper down the cliff, no problem. Sliding is here. Is the lava solid or is it like a shifting solid surface? It feels solid. Or am I in the lava and... You are on Anyways. some sort of ground and uh, it does... From the solid ground, I sprint across. As you walk on it, you can feel the ground swells and ebbs underneath you as if you're standing on top of waves, like very gentle waves. 200 feet, you said? Yeah. So this will be like three minutes, maybe? Yeah. Get over to the Scamper. other side. Scamper. 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 All the way to the other side. Yeah. Oh, I... Whoops, I fucked up. That should not be... There should be a uh, dynamic lighting thingy blocking some of this. View. I don't mistake. Know if you see anything interesting. But... Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, well, yeah, that's because it should be like that and like. There we go. So it should be like oh, that, where you've got. Cliff. Uh, this right here is the tower. This extends oh, okay. like 2,000 feet up. And then here is the, the stairwell. That... Yeah, so I'll run over here and do I need another climb check to get yep. up there? Another climb check to scale this 40 feet. Five is only a 31, but I think I can still... That's still more than a pass, yeah. Yeah. You will easily here. scamper up. Uh, what's at the landing up here? So it's Stairs. Been four minutes. How mm -hmm. far up did they go? They go up see. and start to curve and you lose sight of them. I go up maybe a minute and a half. Okay. As quickly as I can. The steps just go up and up and curve and up and up and curve, and you find yourself sort of like running upstairs very uncomfortably. You need to get back, right? Yeah, it's been like five minutes. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. going to climb back down the stairs. It seems like this landing is relatively safe. Mm -hmm. Didn't see any sign of demons, no floating suits of armor. Nothing. I'm going to move across the bridge and see if I can see this guy. You do not point. see any creatures on the bridge whatsoever. How far below was the lava from this bridge? There's got to be like a pillar here in the middle, right? Uh, yeah, the the two bridges connect here. The first bridge descends into the lava and the second bridge attaches. Um, I guess from this spot here, where you are now, you can see across the bridge and make out the faint outlines of six, seven creatures. Suits of armor. Yeah, armor on each of these things. Shields as well. Um, yeah. Now, the a quirk of the ethereal plane is that the borders of the ethereal aren't quite solid. They're like hazy. It's like a two inches of semi-reality, almost like a soft, spongy surface, like a um, Tempur-Pedic mattress or something like that. Mm -hmm. So these creatures that you can sort of see their armor, but it's not entirely there. The armor's thin enough that you could almost like reach through it. It's just enough to give you an impression that there's something there, but not enough to actually stop you. You could, with some effort, like walk through them. Yeah. I'm afraid of the beholder. Yeah. So I'm not gonna go through those creatures. I'm gonna climb down along the bridge that goes into the lava. Okay scamper down. Is the dragon present in this ethereal plane? Or nope. Is... It's just this black ground that sort of rises and sinks. Right, and I'm gonna run over like this way around the edge up and out. It's probably been like seven minutes. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> four, five, six, seven, yeah, you can run, climb back up, as long as you don't botch a roll, which I don't think you oh, do. Oh, yeah, I do need to climb back up, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. 
and scamper through the lava fields before you return to the physical realm. Uh, I'll return to the party. Your back crimes. Thank God. I uh, Thank crossed the lava. There's no, there's no heat in the ethereal plane. Fantastic. Well, did you have to climb up or down? Lots of climbing. How far? 40 feet, maybe? Do I feel like I could climb 40 feet now? What? If I had to just, like, sure. spitball it, would I need a 10 or would I need a 20 to make that climb? Oh, and, and rope? Does rope count as organic? So that won't be there. Rope is organic, yes. So we need... It, we need some sort of... Um, metal rope or a ladder to make it real easy. Would we take falling damage in the ethereal plane? Great question. I mean, I can take the falling damage. It's just about being able to climb out before the ethereal is was off. The real problem with William is if he falls and his legs, his stone legs break, right? If you land on your shoulders and your back and you just take damage to your body, it'll heal. But what happens if you land feet first and the pillars that are your feet like shatter? Yeah, so if I fall, I just make sure I fall on my back. Fall. That's just nice and safe. <laughs> Would he have legs in the ethereal plane? Yeah, what stone even happens? Knife. Like what happens if you ethereal this, will you? That's a great question. I think it's just I'd still be able to go through it because they're, they're attached to me. They'd just be like black, right? They'd be able to be seen, perhaps. Oh no! But then would they melt away in the lava? Uh, uh, did I see William's legs? In I mean, I didn't see any. You They're saw stone. William's legs as just like columns that end. Um, William, he, he would be making. Ethereal. No, he was not ethereal. You would be making a plus two on the climb check, but at disadvantage. And I need a what? A 21. You'd need a 21, and your climb check would be one third of your dex plus strength, I believe. One third of strength as well. Yeah, yeah. dex plus strength divided by three, uh, plus two at disadvantage would be your check. I'd need, so I'd need an 11. Yeah, well, that's a 50, 50, 50 at chance. At least two of, two of them. I guess one of them doesn't matter. Yeah, but what about the pups? Like, how do we get that one 45 feet? The dog? It might have been worth if you could have tested going across the bridge in one foot. Because I reckon the... this might work. Yeah, how do you get the hell past them? Huh. Yeah, well, sneak past them, yeah. Whatever way it is, why don't we take a break here while we contemplate our options, and when we come back from our break, we'll see what, if anything, gets us across the bridge. Maybe there's another plan. I don't know. We'll find out on the other side of our break. See you guys soon. <laughs> 